Hey puzzlers, it's Michael Skeleton here. Uh, today I thought I'd solve a dis disentanglement puzzle um, called The Fooler from Uncle's Puzzles. Uh, it says a little tomfoolery is in this one and the difficulty level is severe, which I'm kind of puzzled about. The object is to remove this ring and I probably did it less than five minutes after getting it out of the box. So, um, and severe is their highest rating. So, I would, I would rate it more easy if you've done any of their other puzzles. I guess if this was your first one, it probably would be pretty tough. Uh, with that being said, let's, uh, let's solve this sucker. So the uh, first thing you'll notice is you've got a hinge down the center. And that almost always means you're going to need to fold it to uh, somehow solve it. And um, <clears throat> also you have these uh, two things on the end which are pretty much identical. So the first thing I did was uh, try and get the ring around that edge like so. Uh, you can see that. But uh, doing it this way, the, e the ring actually won't reach. Well, um, that's because you're on the wrong side of the puzzle. If you put it on this other side of the puzzle, which uh, if you lay it flat, it's the ones with the hinges, um, I guess that would be vertically. And then you fold it the, the flattest way possible, this way. It doesn't quite fold flat so you want to fold it the flattest way possible and then when you try and do that same thing you can actually get it over now it takes a little bit of working there it's not quite as easy as it might seem um, so you go over like that and then you've got it down the center of the puzzle which is great but you're kind of stuck because you can't actually get it out due to this um, side of it and that's where the uh, the trick of the whole puzzle is the um, what they call in the instructions the f or the answers the fooler move, and that's uh, that you can actually put the fooler like so. Uh, if you push it like that, then the ring can just slip in between them, then it can go around, and then it can come out on top. And there you go, you've got them separated. And uh, yeah, to get them back in, it's pretty easy. Just do it the same way. You got to make sure you fold it pretty flat. Um, on the one with uh, horizontal hinges, you push that one up, and therefore you can get it back in. Go back down like so. Push it up again. There, there you go. And then, uh, then you got it back the way it is. So it really wasn't that hard for me. The main thing is to figure out that fooler move, which, I don't know, it just seemed pretty obvious when I opened up. Uh, that it could do that and that was somehow going to use it. The other one can do it too. It's a little more difficult. The trickiest part for me was uh, I was trying to do it on the wrong side at first and once I tried it on the other side realizing they weren't exactly the same it became much much easier. And that's how you solve the fooler. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want to solve um, any other disentanglement puzzles uh, you can go to my mechanical puzzle circle of interest at uh, www.wiseoz.com slash mechanical puzzles or subscribe to my uh, YouTube station. Thanks.